Security, or surveillance cameras, have become a silent, ubiquitous feature of cities across the world. Residents seem almost oblivious to the routine monitoring of their daily lives. Ed Bridges was irritated the first time he realized that a police automatic facial recognition vehicle had scanned his features in a shopping center. But the second time it happened was at a peaceful anti-arms trade protest. And on that occasion, the van was parked opposite the crowd. It, I felt it was there to sort of intimidate people and dissuade them from uh, using their right to peaceful protest. So Ed has taken South Wales police to court in the first UK challenge to the use of AFR. I mean, essentially, what you have is a situation where technology uh, is running miles ahead of where the law is, and the law needs to, to catch up. AFR biometrics is increasingly used for things like keyless buildings and cashless leisure resorts. But civil liberties groups are most concerned by its use in public spaces to scan law-abiding citizens. As they walk past the camera, it takes their really sensitive biometric data from them without their knowledge or their consent. So it's really akin to them walking down their high street and the police forcibly taking their fingerprint or their DNA. Automatic facial recognition has dramatically improved thanks to rapid advances in a computer technology known as deep learning. The accuracy is still variable. At the 2017 Champions League final, the system produced 92% of false positives. And even if accuracy can be improved, there's still the other questions of governance and of purpose, and the wider question of exactly when protection of the public tips over into intrusion and oppression. China's mass surveillance of its citizens, including the use of facial recognition, is well known. In 2017, Australia authorised police and some private companies to use and access a controversial new AFR system. But this month, the US city of San Francisco banned city authorities from deploying the technology. Academic Dr. Anna Hintz has examined digital citizenship and surveillance. Our data trails make us transparent, he says. And the balance of power is shifting. We have become very transparent. On the other hand, the process by which we are assessed also through our data are not very transparent. And in that sense, then we can see uh, there is a reversal in empowerment, in power shifts from the citizen to the state. Al Jazeera approached the company NEC and other AFR providers, but none responded to interview requests. In a statement, London's Metropolitan Police said its AFR pilot scheme had now ended and the results are being assessed. Judgment in Ed Bridges' legal challenge is expected to be handed down in the autumn. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Cardiff.